Here is a quick video on how to set up your Netgear EX2700 range extender device without WPS using my Wi-Fi EXT Genie setup wizard. So without wasting any time let's dive into the video. The first thing that you will need to do is take out your range extender from the box and plug it into an AC vault outlet. Wait till the extender is successfully booted up and the light on the extender becomes solid green from amber. Make sure that your extender and router are in the same room during the setup process. Once it's turned solid green, we can now head toward our laptop and begin configuring our Netgear range extender, EX2700. You can use any browser you like such as Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, Opera Mini. It's time to open your preferred web browser. Go to my Wi-Fi ext.net if on Windows device or my Wi-Fi ext.local if on Apple device. In case using an Android device go to 92.168.1.250. A screen appears in front of you and now click on the new extender setup that leads you to a new page, where you will need to create a new account in order to install your extender, and this page is called the Netgear Genie Smart Wizard. Now fill in all the necessary details such as a valid email address, password, and once you are done click on the next button. Now you have two choices as you can either set up your range extender device as a range extender or as an access point. We are going to click on the range extender and then it will scan for the available networks and give you a list of all the networks available. Before heading ahead into the video in case you are facing any issue with your Netgear range extender device, get in touch with our Netgear experts. Click on the network that you wish to extend. In my case, it's Netgear router, and then it would ask you for the password of your network, and all you will need to do is fill in the password of your existing network. And click on the next. In case if the Wi-Fi password that you just typed in is correct then your extender will establish a connection between your extender and router. It also allows you to use a different password or use the same password or none at all. If you choose none at all then anyone will be able to connect with your Netgear extender. I am gonna choose a new password. My Wi-Fi extender name is, Paul, you can choose any you like. Now we are successfully done with setting up our Netgear. EX2700, range extender, now go to our taskbar and connect to our newly set up, Paul, range extender. And open up our browser and Google appeared which means our extended network is working. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos, and in case face any problem get in touch with the experts.